I have a question about you, the Suffocate album. Explain to us a little bit more about the title of the album and the theme that will be that we could expect should we buy it. And you can buy um, this album from your MySpace site directly, yeah? Yes, uh, exactly. And also venisonkey.com. You can get it there too as well. And the only place you can download that music too is, is, is at myrecordlabel.net because I won't work with any other company anymore. It's, uh, it, it, that skimming is, is just uh, unbelievable. Suffocate is, uh, in America, uh, I mean, well, actually, I think it's the whole world right now. There's this bit of a session right now, especially in America. And um, it feels like uh, federally that, like, there's there's not too much, uh, you know, movement to fixing the problem, and a lot of people in America, and I'm sure indie indie artists as well, are experiencing a, some kind of suffocation. Um, you know, as if they, they can't make a living. It just it seems very very hard to to make a living right now. And Suffocate album is directly uh, inspired by that by this recession that uh, the states has gone through. Excellent and very timely album for our listeners to go out and check out. And again, that album is called Suffocate. It's by Venice Maquis, and you can download it from myspace.com forward slash Venice Maquis. Um, or excuse yeah, me, uh, myrecordlabel.net. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, no, that's all right. Um, the easiest thing is just go to venicemaquis.com and, uh, and you'll, you'll be directed and linked to uh, myrecord.net. Cool. Myrecordlabel.net. My final question to you is that uh, obviously, you know, you've had some difficulties in the past, perhaps with record labels or companies promoting you. Now that avenues, new avenues are opening up for indie artists. Like uh, Fame Games. Like Fame Games <laughs> and perhaps some others, not quite as good, of course. <laughs> um, do, are you, do you still look to the big record labels or is it now a case of, well, look, I've had some really bad experiences. I'm going to do it by myself as an indie artist. Right now, they have this thing called 360 degrees uh, contract, which is kind of a joke. And yeah, um, I did a whole thing not... episode on it once, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and it's one of those things that um, if you really, you know, if you still have that like dream to be in on a major label, what have you, it's not worth. I mean, there's. I think the most important thing for indie label, uh, indie artists to do is uh, is to just focus on getting a, a touring agents, right? agents that can do great on guaranteeing uh, contracts and, and as you tour. And really, that's more important than than having the record label personally, because the tour agent is the one that essentially is going to make you money. Where the record label, <laughs> it's going to be a while before you see anything, and especially with that 360 degree contract thing. So I'm not really um, focused on looking for a record deal but it doesn't necessarily mean that I won't consider it uh, depending on the record contract I mean there is I do believe there are some record companies out there that are artist friendly are are there to enhance an artist's uh, career I don't know if it's necessarily major labels I, I think you'd be uh, better off looking at independent record labels as opposed to the majors there are so many yeah. young artists nowadays that if they got an opportunity to actually sign up with a record label they wouldn't even cross the T's or dot the I's, they'd jump straight into it, wouldn't they? Yes, unfortunately, yes. Uh, I've, I've seen that happen uh, till today. Um, yeah, the best, again, uh, advice is to just uh, focus on uh, recording, and uh, even if you have to do it at home, uh, just record your own stuff and build up your fan base, send your stuff to same games. Uh, yeah. cause that that definitely mm -hmm. help as well. And, you know, the record labels will come, but uh, at, at the end result, you know, like there, there is some record labels that are worth talking to, but um, don't be in a rush to try to get a record deal it's um really is not your first thing to think about first thing i would always say uh, i would say now after experiencing uh, what i've gone through then is, is that toy agents are, are much more important than, than it is a record label okay venice well from me I, I think that's just about it apart from uh, i know laura will, will, will sign off as well just to say how much we've enjoyed your music in the past but we haven't had enough of it venice send some more to us i, I know i know i definitely um I this next record, um, I hope you guys are gonna like it. But um, this next record is uh, is very dear to me, and uh, and I'll definitely send that out to you guys um, when it gets done. All right, Venice. Listen, from me, I just wish you all the success in the future, and hopefully we'll be hearing more of you in the not too distant future. Yeah, and I just Thank wanted so to, to say as well that I you were one of the very first track of the months we ever had. You know, dating back into episode 100 something or other, and we're now up to all nearly yeah. episode 300. I think it was one of the last yeah, I'm so thankful for you guys uh, for being so supportive of not only my music but also the independent artists. It's, it's a great avenue for everyone uh, trying to you know get their music heard. Well, it's us who should be thanking you because I can tell you that your 
music is very powerful. It's very moving. I think that because of uh, songwriters and singers like you out there, that the world is a much better place as a result. And for you and your manager, um, um, Ruzo is in touch with Paul quite often and with all of us here at Fame Games and do give our best wishes to him. And um, we hope that you guys will always stay in touch and that we can be part of, you know, putting your music out uh, to the world and into more people's ears every day. Thank you so much, you guys. Global Breakthrough Chart on the Red Carpet.